Yo, what's good, everybody? This is Jay with Skywalker Investing. I'm on the Slack, and one of my favorite channels on the Slack is Sports Betting. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the difference between money line and spread. A lot of people getting into betting. There's some basics that everybody should know. So uh, these are like basically the two most basic bets in betting, right? When you're picking a team, money line versus spread. Money line is choosing who do you think is going to win the game, right? But the spread basically states um, who do you think is going to win by what margin of victory, right? So I'm going to give you all an example real quick. We're going to look at some games that they have coming on today uh, in the NBA. All right. So let's take a look at DraftKings, right? This is a sports book that is pretty popular, right? So if you were to bet, you see, like, the Pacers versus the, the, the Nets, right? We know the Nets are trying to solidify the spot in, in the playoffs right now and avoid the playing probably, right? So when you see a negative by the number, it indicates that this team is the favorite to win that game, right, essentially. Uh, and you see a positive, is it, it means that they most likely don't think they're going to win the game, right? So a lot of people will see this and they'll say, oh, yeah, I think the Nets are going to win. Uh, but if you look at the odds, you have to ask yourself, you know, um, risk to reward ratio, right? Is this worth it, right? So we'll go into a a, a betting calculator, right? Because the reason why we do this is because sometimes uh, <laughs> sometimes these sports books will tell you um, what you're getting paid out, and it isn't what what you should be, right? And that happens a lot with parlays. It's called short pay parlays. But uh, let's go with the Nets versus the Pacers. We have negative 2,000. Okay, uh, single bet, bet amount. Let's say that you put uh, 100 on the game. All right, so, I mean, this is essentially the situation that you would be you would be in. You have to ask yourself if you, if you want to do that. If you put a $100 on a single bet uh, with negative 2,000, um the payout will be 105 right like that's so you know you have to be careful sometimes with you know what you choose to bet on right uh, however which with with the spread you have plus 15 or minus 15. what this basically states is that the nets would have to beat or move to 16. Oh, okay never mind um the nets would have to beat the paces by at least 17 points and if they didn't beat the paces by 17 points um you would lose the bet. I mean, even if they beat them by 15 points, you would lose the bet, right? Now, the Pacers, on the other hand, all they have to do is not lose by more than 16, right? <clears throat> not lose by more than 16 um, or win the game, right? And you you, you would win uh, with the Pacers, right? Um, so, I mean, for me, if I were to bet on this game, I would probably go with the spread over money line, right? Even though... Um, this looks this looks great. I mean, this is kind of a wide spread in my opinion. <clears throat> um, but you have to do your research to see how often the Pacers have covered the spread. But let's take a look at what that payout would be. Uh, oh, odds one ten. All right, so this is what I mean here. All right, so you put a hundred dollars down. The odds is one ten. The payout will be 190, right? So in this situation, you kind of have an idea of are you willing? If, if you think the nets are that much of a lot for five dollars, I mean that's it's up to you, right? Or if you if, if you put up a hundred and you say I, I think that they're gonna cover this, uh, the nets not gonna be able to cover the spread, then you would take the paces here, right? So um, that's the basics of money line versus spread. If you have any questions, leave a comment, shoot me a message. Um, come join the Slack group. We're trying to grow a community of people who enjoy betting for fun and looking into games and researching and, and uh, watching games. So um, peace out.